<laughs> now, yeah, it's like I don't really know anybody who's on house arrest either. So I've been planning to um, do my own podcast for a while. Um, I think I wanted to start recording in jail actually over the jail phone um, because you know, like there are some rappers who record whole albums um, from being incarcerated while being incarcerated. And I was like, why not record a podcast? But then I got released. How have you been able to convince them that you're not that person? I think I'm still um, working on that. I think like a lot of people have all these misconceptions and they only uh, know like this caricature from the media. And mm -hmm. I mean, I can't blame them. It's like if it gets repeated enough times, you just kind of can't help but kind of ingrain that. I'm on 24-7 house arrest. I'm only allowed to leave for um, my parole check-ins, my ICE check-ins, and for medical emergencies. I feel like you're a real New Yorker. Like, at, oh. like if there's a place where you um, like can claim, I feel like it's here. You know? For whoever watched the Netflix series, the story is being told from the journalist's perspective, like not even from mine. I feel like just so many people um, put so many stories out there. And just because I was in jail, I didn't always have um, a chance to like comment and respond. So if you really think at it, um, like look back at it and um, look at things, it's not really my perspective. It's what, it's other people's perception of what really happened. I think it's up to me to show the world what I'm going to do next and not like sit and complain how um, mean the media is to me or how mean the people are, so.